let's give you guys some more practice. So find the limit of this as x tends to uh, to infinity. So if you look at the graph of log base two, it will look something like this. Uh, log base two will look something like this. If you look at the graph of log base three, it will look something like this. So now you've got a graph of the combination of the two where you have one divided by the other. What would that graph look like? And and if, if you were to head towards infinity, what would be the limit of the ratio of the two? So well anyway, find the limit of this as x tends to um, to infinity. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so as x tends to um, as x tends to infinity, um, this thing here will head towards infinity. Uh, so this is heading towards infinity. As x tends to uh, infinity, this is also heading towards infinity. So you've got infinity over infinity, which means you can apply L'Hopital's rule. So you can differentiate this and then differentiate this. Okay, so so um, in order for us to differentiate this, let's just write it as this. So so our first step. Our first step is to try and differentiate this, okay, and then later on we will try and differentiate this. So let's let's now try and differentiate log base two of x. So let's just imagine we've got y equals this thing here, and then our, we're, we're trying to find dy by dx. So currently we are trying to differentiate this. So uh, exponentiate both sides with base two. So that will then give you this, and then and then, so so basically exponentiate both sides with base two. So this is the same as this, this is the same as this. Now these two will cancel each other out, giving you just x. So now we're here. Now uh, natural log equally to both sides. So when you natural log this, the y can come down, that's this bit here, and then you've got your log, uh, natural log of 2, and then natural log of this. So you've got this. So now use implicit differentiation. Don't forget, this, this is just a constant. So uh, use implicit differentiation, differentiate this thing here, will give you this constant here, but because y is a function of x, you need to stick dy by dx in there. Differentiate this, 1 over x, you're after dy by dx, so, so divide both sides by natural log 2, so that will then give you this. So dy by, so when you differentiate it, it will give you this thing. So back to, uh, back to L'Hopital's rule, so because we know it's infinity over infinity, we can simply differentiate this, and when you when you differentiate this, it will give you this thing, which we just worked out earlier, which we just worked out earlier. dy by dx equals that. So uh, so when you when you um, when you when you differentiate this, it will give you this. When you differentiate this using the same technique, it will then give you this. Now tidy this up so you've got one thing, one thing. Um, times the reciprocal of this, that will then give you this, now it's top times top, bottom times bottom, that will then give you, that will then give you this, so um, so in a way these, as x tends to infinity, your limit is um, natural log of 3 over natural log of 2, this is your limit, okay?